But right now, this is a thing that was fairly resource friendly. What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome to my world. We're here, we're doing things back on FTB Sky Factory 2.5. And if you remember in the last episode, we made the blaze farm. Well, you see down here, I have seven of them at the moment. And I'm playing around with with uh, getting an eighth. I should hopefully be close. I might even have it already. I do. Oh, and a miniature red heart. That's cool. So, <laughs> this is good because this means we can continue with one other thing that I needed to do, that I wanted to do for a while. And that is the power situation. Now, our power situation is very meager at the moment. We only have a couple of lava generators, and I kind of held it at that point because I wanted to dip into something different. As you know, change-up challenge means everything has to be different. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Everything can't... Everything can't be different, but as much as possible. You know, you already know this. So, power is definitely going to be one of those things. And I got a comment a while ago, mentioned uh, who it was and everything like that. Um... Uh, a while ago doing the potion generators, which is what I wanted to do and I wanted to look at this a little bit to see Oh, by the way, it's gone. I, I broke down the whole mm, other old mob farm because we have this one, but I Wanted to go ahead and test it a little bit just to see how powerful this thing is going to actually be uh, And we're only talking about the first tier so we need to make all of these things which I've already made well I, It's not that I made them. That was the wrong recipe. That's not the one I wanted to make uh, it's not that I've made of them all, but I have the resources to make them all. To make uh, everything that I need to make. So book, this, this is the crafting table. This guy, I need to make one other thing first. What did that say? Enchanter. I'm not enchanting anything though, game. I just made the enchanting table. It doesn't mean I'm going to use it for enchanting. Potion generator. Potions generator. Now, the other thing you might be thinking is... Well, how are you going to generate stuff? Well, we have a few potions of healing we got from our other old mob mar farm. Uh, as well as a few other things I want to test to just to see if they do indeed work. Uh, we, yeah, we have a bunch, we get a bunch of potions of healing from our old, old mob farm. It was really, really, it was okay. And it wasn't even constructed properly. What I mean by that is, is something that I mentioned before. You want to hurt the witches before you kill them. And you want to hurt them and give them time to drink a healing potion. So as they're drinking, that's when you're killing them. And therefore, that is when you get the potions of healing, which is uh, pretty good. So you want to maximize that as much as possible. And I have a sort of kind of idea in my head for how to do that the, the most effective way. Uh, but uh, we'll get into that a little later when we start to actually design the farm. This... Um, Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. I thought that was some kind of a potion. There is another one. Potion of slowness. I want to see how powerful some of the other potions are in order to do this more effectively. Uh, I'm thinking the potion of healing is going to be better than the potion of slowness or potion of whatever, whatever. We have a few mana bottles. Okay, that's cool. I thought, uh, I, thought I had a couple more. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to test the relative difference between the two. So we can actually tell what gives us more and what we should be making. Now, we're going to be doing the potions of healing because that's the easiest thing to get from witches. But if we have to, if it's not strong enough, I can set up an auto uh, potion brewing network that is strong enough to support a potions generator or the other tiers of potions generator all the way up to a 64 times. I'll have to think about that one for a little while if we do need to, you know, increase that. But I'm thinking the potions, at least for the first tier generator, are going to last long enough. They're going to be a long-term generation, so we're not going to use one, but like every... I don't know, a few minutes or so is what I'm thinking, but I could be wrong. And this is why I want to test it so we can see just how effective it is. And if witches are going to give us enough of them to continue. So we're going to circle around the back here. This guy is currently entering, entering, this guy is currently empty of energy. And uh, this is, this is stopped. So we'll be able to tell just how powerful it is. If we hook this guy up, make sure he's on extract and always active. Now, First of all, Potion of Slowness. Yeah, 40 seconds for this and 160. And what, do we get the water bottle back? That's interesting. So this guy is now... Look how fast, it's 160. That's four of these guys. 
That's four of these. Just with one mini one. One mini guy. And it lasted 40 seconds. That was pretty good. What happens to the water bottle? I'm thinking it it doesn't like nothing happens to it. I don't I don't I think it probably stays there, which means we're gonna have to take out. Yeah. We have to take out the water bottles when we're finished. So we have to have uh, a filter on this guy to do the- Oh. What? <laughs> you can't even do the potion of healing? Oh, wow. You can't do it at all? Why not? Oh, that's not cool. What, what can we use these guys for? Can we use them in anything? They have no usage? I can't hit R on them either. Why? What the heck? Hold on. This is not right. I think these are like technically a different potion. Oh, wow. It even tells us there. Generates 32,000 RF at 40 RF a tick. Let's do uh, healing. Type in healing. See if there's a different potions. There are. Look, there's two different ones. Instant health and instant health too, but we have the first one. Oh, no, we don't. It's a different one. Look, look at the numbers up there. Potion of healing, 373, 16, 341. It's not the same one. 373, 8197. Ooh, I wonder. I'm thinking new potions might. We just had an update here. We just had an update not too long ago. I wonder if we had any witches. We did. 16341. No, these are the same ones. They're not giving us the right potions. That is messed up. You can't do it that way. We have the wrong potion, and there's no way to fix that. I. Ha ah, ha ha. Okay, so can we use these guys for anything? For example, we can turn it into a potion of harming with a fermented spider eye. So let me try this. Oh wait, what, what did, was the other one? I think that was uh, easier to do. Um, we can make it, okay, with glowstone. Let's try that real quick. Let's see if we can fudge this a little bit. Okay, let's go make a brewing stand. Oh, I'm gonna have to use one of my blaze rods. Ugh, I don't wanna do that, but we have to. I can, I can get another, chances are I probably already have another one over there. Um, brewing stand. We need to see if we can actually convert this into the right type. Just three cobblestone. Okay, I, I, somehow I had forgotten that. I already have cobblestone on me and everything. Perfect. So give me you. Give me you. Just one. I don't need that many of them. Definitely don't need to waste that many of them. So let's put you down just like right here. And we'll do... Oh, give me some glowstone. Do I, I know I have glowstone in here somewhere. I have plenty of glowstone. That wasn't... No, that's not glowstone. There's some. Boop. Okay, so let's try one of these. Uh, or three of them. Ooh! Oh, I think it's working. So I want to wait for this to finish. Because if we can just spend a glowstone, granted, I'm not sure how to generate glowstone, like just like hardcore quantities of it, like we're going to need. I don't know how that's going to work, but it could, it could be okay. I don't know. But see that potion of slowness, I think, uh, 16181. I don't think that's the right one either. I don't think this will work either. Um, healing. No, see, it's a different item code. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. That's horrible. I think that is the game's way of saying, no, you can't do that. Oh, what a bummer. That is not cool, man. Come on, game. That was very creative. That was a really good way. My sub even gave me the idea for it and everything. Why are you being so stubborn? No, you can't cheat like that. That's not cheating. It's being creative. Why? Why? That was so good, too. All right. So where do we get the potion of slowness from? Is that maybe a witch trying to throw that at us? I don't know how to fake it into that. No idea how to do that. Because uh, that potion of slowness was pretty good. I'm going to run through here real quick to see if I can see anything else. Generates, you know, certain numbers. I saw that in here. Like, slowness. It's not telling me the uh, the numbers anymore. Like, healing. The healing potions. If we hover over them, it actually... It told us. 
Wait a minute, where did those numbers go? Hold up, hold up. Didn't it, it just told us how much it generated, didn't it? Why is it not showing us those numbers anymore? Something is really going on here. Something is wacky. Since those little tool tips disappeared, telling us just how strong a potion was, I went a little overboard and we're gonna do some testing today. We're gonna do some testing right now, in fact. I have a lot of potions here. Now, if you pay attention closely, you can see that some of the icons are just a little bit different. I have some splash ones, but also I've increased them, uh, their strength for the ones that can be increased that way. So slowness here becomes the next tier of slowness, whatever that is. And then it's the splash potion of the stronger one. And then the same with these guys, weakness and then weakness and then splash potion. And then night vision, night vision and splash potion, that kind of deal. Now these guys are a little bit different because they have a speed two effect. So we have regular speed, uh, the longer duration regular speed, and then the shorter duration faster speed. And the same with the poison, we have short poison, longer poison, and then the short duration poison two. So it's, it's a little bit finicky in there. Like, like we, we just got a lot of different things to try. So what I want to do is actually see just how strong they are. Now, this is the regular potion of slowness, which that's the one that we did that did the 160 power level for about 40 seconds. Here's the stronger slowness effect or the longer duration slowness effect 320 holy crap for the same time about 40 seconds or so maybe a little bit shorter okay here's the stronger one of the longer duration one that we just tried with the splash potion effect 640 holy crap this thing is ridiculous so far that's the winner the splash potion of the longer duration of slowness is our winner right here. Derek, now it's showing us oh you know what it's because we're in here you know what i'm having fun though this thing's wrong actually look it says at 320 rf a tick you see right there the power level 640 so it's actually it's it's wrong but anyway, we're going to keep going. Now let's try the weakness uh, here in just a few seconds. This guy's going to go, and we're going to see. You see the blades going crazy. They're spawning all the time now. There's that. Okay, that's only 40. So the weakness is not very good. Probably even with the splash potion, the stronger ones just aren't going to be as good. But it seems like all of them have about 40 second duration, which is shorter than I wanted it to be. But since we have to craft our own anyway and, and create some kind of a crafting situation for it i think it's not really going to matter too much as long as we can automate the collection of the supplies of the potion we want to make which so far is the splash potion of slowness and i think it's because it requires more materials each like it has more steps to it to make because this guy so far needs the potion of swiftness which is just or well that's the way i'm gonna do it it's just sugar and a fermented spider eye, plus the um, nether wart, plus the redstone, plus the gunpowder. So that's like five steps to get the splash potion of the longer duration slowness. So it's kind of crazy that way. We're going to go ahead and try it though. This is the next one. It should be 80. Yeah, 80 for 40. And this guy's probably going to be 160. And it is. So since we know basically the... The pattern, the longer or, or more materials it takes to create, the higher, the more steps it has to create, the higher the yield of power it's going to have. So each of these have been stepping up over, uh, the, you know, the whole time. So I'm going to go through and test all of these here. And just so you know what I'm testing, you already seen the ones I have tested now, which that was the last one. That was weakness. We've done slowness and weakness. Then we also have night vision fire resistance, swiftness, uh, poison, and healing. So we're going to try all of these guys, and if any of them are better than slowness, I'll let you know, but if not, that's most likely going to be what's going to be the better one. Well, that's 80. That ain't too bad, but that is night vision too. That requires a pretty pretty extreme carrot. You know, carrot with gold around it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. For the next thing that we need to do today, I need a bunch of mushrooms. 
Now, I'm not going to show you what we're doing yet because I don't have the whole thing set up just yet, but this is kind of an interesting way to do it. I set this little little guy up. I'm not sure if you've seen this yet or not. You might have seen it in the background of the last clip or something. I don't know. It's been up for uh, a little bit, but I did put it up today during recording this episode, but I have a whole bunch of sand here that's going through these pipes uh, into the top of the barrels, which you can see. I have an infinite water source down there, so I have that guy with a world interaction upgrade putting uh, water into these guys. Uh, which is with the pots or the mycelium. I'm sorry. The mycelium is converting it all into witch water and in doing so it's creating a lot of mushrooms. It's just kind of one of the side effects of doing it. We can create a really cool mushroom farm this way uh, just by letting it do what it's doing here. Uh, and then down below, we also have this. Now, I'm doing the sand so I can get a bunch of soul sand. So that way, when I do indeed need another gas tier, I can go ahead and get it that way. So I'm curious about something. In order to make fermented spider eyes, this is something I've never tested in all the years I've been playing Minecraft. Can you use regular mushrooms? You can't. Okay, regular mushrooms don't work. It has to be brown mushrooms in order to get the fermented eyes. That's really interesting. But as you see, I had a whole stack of the brown ones and a whole stack of these guys. So that's something to note about this guy right here is that you get the, the regular mushrooms and the brown mushrooms at pretty much the same speed. You get both of them equally the whole time. Get out of here, egg. I don't want you. But uh, what I've been doing is this is this guy right here, which you may have seen just a little tidbit of. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to... Uh, I need you to be... Hold on. Can I do this? Can I say round robin? Round robin mode. Okay. No. Wait. You'll round robin into this. I need you to round robin on the insert. You can't do round robin on the insert. I need all of these guys to insert. Will Okay. How does round robin work? Uh, is, is round robin going to choose each of the destinations in sequence? Or is it going to choose the items to pull from in sequence? I think it's the items to pull from since this is the, the extract. And on insert, you can't do anything like that. I think. But I don't really know for sure. Um, this is kind of a problem. No, well, maybe not. I mean, I, I can make it work through other means and stuff, but for now, I don't know. Anyway, what I have here is basically I have five filters, uh, and I did it this way with the chests in the middle for a reason. If I didn't, I would have to put filters on each individual one, which means I would need 10 filters. Chests are cheaper than filters. So that's why I'm doing it here. If we put this guy in here, we put this guy in here. Uh, that was wrong. Give me those back. Thank you. Uh, and as you see, they are disconnected. They're not connected together. Mm -hmm. So this chest can only output to both of these guys. This chest only to these guys. This chest, you get it. So uh, these two already have the filters. This one needs a filter. This one needs a filter. And this one needs a filter. Okay, so then uh, the first step is going to be the nether wart, which you're not on extract yet, are you? You're not always active yet? Okay, so this one gets the nether wart, and I need to save one to put in the filter. So you go in there, and you, I don't need to actually, it doesn't go in the filter. It just kind of ghost copies into the filter, but it's fine. So you can only be nether wart. Actually, take you out for now, because I want to make sure this little thing will work too. Um, so you go there. Because that's going to fill... I know that's going to fill the chests. Um, ooh, there's... One way to do... I'd still have to, have to put the filters on it. On every single one. I mean, I can do the extra filters. But I think the extra inventory is going to bite me in the butt a little bit later. Anyway. Okay, so that's step one. That'll give us the awkward potion. Next step is the eyes which will give us potions of poison, which I found a different potion, actually. We're going to do the potion of harming, which does the same thing, but instead of getting the potion of swiftness and turning it into mm -hmm. the potion of slowness, we're going to take the potion of poison and turn it into mm -hmm. potion of harming. Uh, and the potion of poison is easier to get just because sugar, granted, I mean, sugar's not all that difficult. You can grow sugar cane, blah, 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 blah. But we're already getting mass quantities of the spider eyes for the potion of poison. So it's a little bit easier for us. So that's why we're going for that potion. And that's why I'm doing the spider eyes as the second step. 
uh, instead of doing the swiftness. So then we can go ahead and do, I think it doesn't matter in this order. So we can do redstone then, which will turn it into a stronger one. And then we can do uh, this guy here. Oh, I forgot one step, which I know, I, re I do remember what it is. So no worries there. I need a bunch of uh, gunpowder, which we are also getting in huge quantities. So it's not a worry there. I just have to leg it over here and kind of get it, pull it out of here. Bam, so much of it. 58, yeah, that's a lot of stacks, man. We're good. We are good on gunpowder. No worries at all. Uh, and then you can go into here to do this. Now, if I go and drop all of this stuff here and make you on extract always, uh, all of these should go into their appropriate chest and stop. They shouldn't go anywhere else. So we should have, I think gunpowder was the first one going in. Yep, there it is. And then the next one should start. I don't remember what, which one was next. Okay, it was you. Okay, fermented spider eyes. That's where you're supposed to go. And then it was, what's next? Redstone. Yep, keep going, keep stepping it back one. So we have all of these guys are now getting all of the stuff that they are supposed to get. Um, and then you're probably, you're not next. You're next. And then it's you. So we know that's all working. Now, there's two more things we need to do is one, we need to open these channels so that they can indeed go into here the right way. My issue is if they're, I don't think they're going to go in here. I think the brewing stand is smart enough to actually put everything where it belongs. But then we have the problem of the water bottles that everything gets. And my worry about that is that if I put all of these guys and add a water bottle to the filter, then one, it's going to try to fill this guy up before it moves on to this one. And we're going to have a huge amount of water bottles in here. And we're not going to have enough room for the nether wart. Uh, so that's a problem. What I think I might have to do is actually put another line on the front of this and go all the way along here. And just have one more filter that only water bottles can be taken out of this. Rather than connecting the chain here, going all the way down, having five more filters and redoing all of the filters we just did with water bottles and whatever item they came from, uh, such as these two, both of those getting the filter of spider eye. So it's kind of eh. Or it could also replace these inventories with a smaller inventory, and that way it's not too big of a deal. But I don't, I don't really want to do that because then we don't have enough room for the actual items themselves either. So I think... Uh, maybe our best bet is to go ahead and add another line onto here. We do have a bunch of these guys. I crafted up a bunch of these uh, conduits here. They're not very expensive. So it's pretty good in that case. But I do need to go ahead and make one more. Let me go get another chest. And let me get uh, some iron. And then I can get some paper, which I believe I have. Craft another filter and tell that chest all the way on the far end to do nothing but output water bottles. And then I can dump all of the contents into that chest and everything should be good to go, uh, except for the extraction. I don't have it auto extracting anything yet, but I can also do that as well. Cause like I said, I have a bunch of the item conduits. I can go onto the bottom of these guys, have it output to a chest over here on this side as well. Before anybody says anything, I want to go ahead and uh, let you know that I do know that there is an auto brewer. Okay. I know this. I am well aware of this. I, this is my attempt. It says auto in here. There's an auto brewer. I should have just typed in brew maybe. Yeah, here it is. So the auto brewer is an MFR thing. And if we take a look at this, it's not the most complicated thing. I mean, a bunch of tin, some iron, some uh, glass. You do need some uh, repeater. Oh, I thought they were comparators. You do need some repeaters, some of this stuff. So it's 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 not cheap, but it's not terrible to get either. Uh, you know, so it's kind of one of those things, kind of mediocre. So it is there, and it does require power to work, which eventually will be fine. But right now, this is a thing that was fairly resource friendly, because really, I mean, other than the blaze rods, which are a little complicated to get initially, but we were already getting them for other purposes. So that's fine. We were already good to go on that front. Um, but other than that, it's really pretty cheap because these guys are fairly cheap. I already had the alloy smelter, you know, and I've already made a bunch of them already. And blaze rods and cobblestone and chests is really about it. And then you have the materials for the potions themselves, which you would need for the auto brewer as well. Anyway, so it's not like... Yeah, my version is a lot more tedious and a lot more difficult to set up. But once it's done, 
I can just drop a whole bunch of things in here. Yes, I know some of these are awkward potions. They will sort it, it will sort itself out. You see that there are now some in here that skip straight to the second step because they were awkward potions. So now they're good to go on that front. These guys are going to go ahead and brew pretty much all the way down the line. And they're going to end up giving us a whole bunch of splash potion of harming, which if I do, if, if I remember correctly, should be the 640. We're going to verify this, hopefully. If it's not, I can change out some of those filters and it should be, uh, I can go back to the other one. Yeah, 640 now. So that's 640. That's perfect. That's excellent. Now we're going to get a whole bunch of that stuff going. And we have a lot of these potions. So what we really need to do is create a mass storage of this. And I need to start auto-producing all of the materials that I need. Water bottles included uh, for, for these potions. And once I do that, even with this setup right here, not even the auto-brewer, which we'll eventually switch to because it's likely faster, it's likely uh, better overall, and it definitely takes up less space. <laughs> so we're, we will switch to that. But for now, this is my free version of it. This is the free version of the auto brewer. It's working out perfectly. I don't have any problems with this so far. Uh, and these guys are going, they are down to, here's some of them in here. Here's some of the final products here. It looks like we're only getting a couple at a time, which is uh, unfortunate. Because they're, they're, I guess they're, oh, they're divvying out. Why are you like, I don't know. You're, you're not fully using your, there's one potion missing. Oh, that's because I have round robin on. I have to have round robin on where the materials inside the top of this won't get split evenly among them. Round robin does indeed split evenly among the destinations of it, which is really, really good, actually. It's really, really handy. But in that case, we're going to waste some of the supplies. But if we take a look at how much gunpowder we have, it's not a problem. If we take a look at how much, I don't know, everything we have, really... Uh, redstone will run a little bit low on pretty quick. Sugar we will, and that's used to make the fermented spider eyes. And certainly the mushrooms. That's currently a manual thing, but I do have a farm idea for this on how to get this completely automatic as well. So we're not doing terrible. It's not the worst thing, but before we switch over to it permanently, I do want the whole thing to be automatic. In the meantime, I can carry over. I think what I'm going to do in the meantime... Oh, where, where, where did that go? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's that? Did I put it? Oh, I put it in here. I shift click. Duh. Okay, anyway, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm going to go ahead and take these guys over. What this is going to do is basically power this guy for a while. It's going to give us a bunch of blaze rods. I'm going to go ahead and just let all of the uh, power be absorbed into this guy. And the way I'm going to do that is just to set up a little chest just pretty easily. I forgot the shift click. You can be on insert because it doesn't matter what you are. You can be on always extract, always active, and then... Uh, and then we're going to have this actually is going to be on in out. Um... Extract is not always active yet. We're going to have you be water bottles only and then always active. So you should extract that water bottle. You're not extracting the water bottle. Oh, because you don't have an insert. In and out. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. So you're going to try to extract it, but I don't. the water bottle can't go back into it. So I think we're good to go there. So as soon as this guy uses it, it'll, it'll turn into a water potion. It'll be set down into this thing, which will then... Uh, send a new one up and that'll be turned into water bottle and that kind of a thing. So we're pretty much good to go uh, Water bottles can pretty much be reused in that. So once we get our power set up, that's going to be our our What we're just gonna have a constant rotation of a certain quantity of water bottles and we won't have to worry about Anything else really it really won't even be a big deal at all uh, about water bottles. So we won't have to repopulate that, but we will have to get the spider eyes, the redstone, the fermented spider eyes, the gunpowder, and the nether wart. Those are the five things that we need. So if you have farm ideas, you have any other suggestions or ideas on how to make that automatic, feel free to send them along. I will read them. I will jot them down if I like them, if I want to use them. Uh, you guys know how I do. I have my little notebook that I keep all, all your suggestions in, so it's pretty cool. And also, if I use your idea, you will get a mention as well. A lot of the other guys who have uh, commented before and the ideas that I've used, they've gotten the mentions. And uh, they, I don't know. They seem to like it, so I keep it up. I, I always mention people who help me because I don't like to take credit for things that are not mine. But uh, that being said, we definitely need 
we definitely need some automatic farming going on. That's that's probably the next thing. And I'm thinking, since the middle ring is probably going to be one of the few... Like I was saying, sorry about the interruption, it happens. <laughs> but since the middle area is one of the few areas in the base that's going to have like the nature and like the grass and stuff, I'm thinking that's probably the best area to do a lot of the farming. Like we already have the dirt here. We'll move that over and we'll definitely get a bunch more magical crops go grow going. We'll also get, of course, the nether wart, which now I have huge amounts of uh, zol sand to use for that. Uh, we won't have any problems with that. I can sift the rest to get some gas tears, to get some more MFR, uh, what are they called? The, um, safari nets. There we are. So, you know, we'll, we'll just do a bunch of farming, and again, that will evolve over time. But I think those are the priorities I'm going for right now, is just to go ahead and automate the collection of everything we need to automate the creation of the potions that I just moved over there to the potion generator. So... Huh. Pretty much that's where we're working on. That's where we're heading. That's the direction we want to go. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, and even, you know, if it's a, direct, a, a suggestion that doesn't pertain to that, it's just some kind of design suggestion or anything, this, that, or the other, you get the idea. Pretty much anything. I'm open to it. I'm always open to them. So go ahead and drop a comment. But if you like the video, don't let that like button get lonely and subscribe to see more. Check out the Patreon and donation links down below. Thank you for watching. Do what you do and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps. Um, can I hit both at the same time? Oh, yes, I sure can. Look at that. You just got to line them up.